Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be looking at the code window again. We're going to be tying it into uh, the properties window and the project window. Go ahead and hit Alt F11. That'll kick you over to your VBA Explorer. Notice that pops up. What we're going to do is we're going to start a module. Again, that's where we're going to be writing most of our code. Um, what we want to do is we're going to change some name of a sheet by writing some code. So let me shrink this over real quick. Let me make this a little smaller so we can actually watch the two together. So what we're going to do is when we're writing code, it always starts with sub. So we're going to sub. We're going to call this sub or this macro test. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here, click on here. It's going to give us our properties. So what we want to all we want to do here is we want to go sheet one, which is this sheet right here. You'll notice that that's actually called the code name. We're going to name that equals. Now we need to put quotes. We're going to call this test. So now I've got, I've put in my code window. Oh, this is a simple macro that's going to change sheet one, sheet one's name. You'll notice that it'll also change down here. So I'm going to hit F8, which means that I step into the code. I'm going to hit F8. You'll notice that it changes it to test. Now let's go ahead and look at our properties windows. I'm going to go ahead and hit F8 again. And all F8 does is it steps you through the code one line at a time. Um, you can also hit this button and it'll run through, which is also F5, which runs through the whole thing. So let's look at our property windows here. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. So let's, what we're doing here is if you look right here, it says display page breaks equals false. So what we're going to do is we're going to go sheet one dot display page breaks. Now notice it, it already shows in. That's actually called um, uh, that's actually called um, IntelliSense. If you click on that, and we're going to show page breaks equals true. Okay, so we're going to change this to test two. And we're going to go F F8 again to walk through this. And you'll notice that it changed it to test two up there, changed it to test two right there. Now we're going to hit, we're going to hit, if you go right here, you'll notice that page breaks equals false. Once I hit this, once I hit F8 again, it changed it to true. If we go back here, it's now to true. And now if we make this larger, you'll notice that it shows the page breaks. So that's just one of the ways that, um, the code window ties into your properties and your project window. It's a, and it's a little small macro, but helps kind of tie the two together. You can kind of see how all those windows kind of work together. The next, the next piece that we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the locals window and, and uh, the watches window, which is, which will be great because you'll be able to see kind of how those windows all tie together. And then once we're done there, we'll be writing some code. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com and most importantly, learn VBA.